uh Bortle here back from the fort worth texas regional from this past weekend there were almost 400 players like about 15 or 17 players off from 400 so there was nine rounds of swiss and my previous video i said that my deck had 80 to 90 percent chance win rate against any deck other than thunder dragons which was a 50 percent chance whatever so i went x1 in this tournament i lost to rongo bongo but Guess what? That's about 88%. Rounded it up 2%. That's 90%. I've proven my theory correctly. Nice. But before we get into the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to Luxury Gaming. They're having a pro tour. It's a 150-man Swiss tournament online using Dueling Book as the platform. This tournament's really nice. I'm going to provide a link in the description down below so you can check it out, see how to sign up, when it starts exactly, what time, all that good stuff. The prizes are really nice. First place is getting a super rare Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. Nice. And then the rest of the top cuts getting some really nice prizes too. We're talking about super rare price cards. Anyway, let's jump into the video. Alrighty, let's start things off with our trustworthy candina triple of three of three licorice and the one lily bell two lily bell is still incorrect don't uh don't give me a reason why it's correct because i've seen your reasons and they were not correct by any means so triple ash blossom this is the, the best hand trap for all decks out there it is insane and now our number one hand trap for this deck draw and lock bird this card is ridiculous. All the combos with the uh, reincarnation is just, it's crazy. Almost every deck out there searches, okay? Every deck. This card is really nice. So make sure you uh, pre get prepared to see that. <laughs> so we're going to jump into our artifact engine. We have two sites and wham! One moral tech. This is the new addition to the deck, one moral tech. The reason why it's in here, because I faced off against uh, BLS and I could not kill this BLS to save my life. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to throw in a moral tech to test it out. Why moral tech is in here? It does not target, folks. This card does not target. It only hits face ups, but it does not target. That's why this card is here. If for some weird reason the opponent has a border sword or border load on the field, this takes it out. Does not target. Great card. Kills any problematic monsters. It's 2100. That's still kind of beefy. And you can still set it, you know. You can set the artifacts. That's why they're amazing. They're like little traps, but they're monsters. Really cool. And now we have our spells, Scapegoat. So I'm playing the two copies of Goat. Again, if you resolve Scapegoat, you're going to win the game. Most likely, okay. This is just nutty. So our next card, Terraforming. Again, if it was a... Three of we would run three of, but it got hit in the ban list. Scapegoat and Terraforming did from 2018. Trickstar Light Stage, you have to play three. This card is insane because you it, you hit any back row, okay? This triggers their back row. If they don't activate the back row, then you're in good shape because you have nothing to worry about. And this is really nice because you get to snipe those Widow Anchors before you summon the Candina. Really cool stuff. It's a nutty card. They need to honestly hit this card because it's one of the best cards in the game. It's not a one. It's not a once per turn. Okay, uh, you can activate all three in one turn. Get all three liquors in game. Triple desires. Desire says draw two, folks. And this deck, we're maxing out on a lot of main cards, so that means desires will most likely hit at least one of those cards. Sometimes you'll hit Lily Bell. That's fine. You can win with the other cards. Um, I've had sometimes to where I would banish the other two copies of Desires. That's really nice, right? And I also had chances where I would draw a second copy of Desires. But lately, I've been activating the second Desires and I would win. It's crazy. It's crazy how I have all these, like, you know, three ofs in the deck and it just incorporates together and just wins. So Triple Desire is the way to go. It literally says draw three of, guys. If you're playing the Sky Striker version, you will not run desires at all because engage does the same thing it's a little better you get to search whatever spell you want and then you draw a card so that's why desires is in here and it is at three now our traps triple reincarnation as long as this card is at three draw and locks at three we're running three of each there is no reason not to reincarnation steals games and next we have our sanctum artifact sanctum we play this because it is insane if our opponent twin twisters this. We chain it. We get two effects. Ridiculous. This card is why this deck is destroying all these extra deck decks. Infinite Permanence. 
This is a hand trap inside of a trap. This card is ridiculous. And if you position it right in the correct column, if it's set, then you can stop cards like Card of Demise. You can stop many spell cards, trap cards. And it's really good against Floodgates because you can stun him for that turn and just go off. I've done it to where I stopped a mistake and then just, just went off, man. And Permanence is insane. This card is really nutty. So hopefully by now you guys have some or you're getting prepared to pick some up in a couple months or whenever that reprint pack comes out. And Storm Duster. This card's very nice. Just make sure you don't do it uh, during your turn and you plan on attacking. Do not do that. Okay, guys? So this card's a 3-up because, you know, it's Heavy Storm Duster. Everything's going to be a 3-up because of our last trap, which is the Trap Trick. MVP of the deck. Everything is a 3-up because of the Trap Trick. Everything's a 3-up because of Desires. Okay, just, just look at it. Look at this right here. It's amazing. Desires, I hit like one of everything here. Trap Trick's alive, okay? Trap Trick is a, a six copy. It's three more copies of any of these traps. Imagine it, guys. Six Sanctums in your deck. Six Reincarnations in your deck. The Six Dusters in your deck. Trap Trick's insane. It's ridiculous. Why is this thing a card? It. My goodness, this... This is why this deck is insane, guys, okay? It, it needs to go first. Sometimes I'll win going second, though, just because of the traps, all right? It's ridiculous. And our side deck's going to help us out going second when we know we're going to go second, you know? So this deck's just amazing. But let's jump into the extra deck prior. So our cherry targets, Hayate and Kagari. This is for the Sky Strikers, obviously. Our matchup's really good against them. That deck is still popular, so you got to play this. I choose green over Shizuku because this one points down and this one can attack direct. And this could be a, a little better cherry target than Shizuku because um, they don't get to attack you direct for a nice 1500. They actually have to pop your monsters or run it over Kagari or Shizuku, right? So that's why I choose Hayate over the Shizuku. And let's go ahead and jump into our other one, which is going to be the Isolde. Um, again, I lost to Rongo Bongo, so Isolde is really nice against that deck because Isolde gives you all the pluses against uh, Gokis out there. Isolde is just ridiculous. This card's nice. I did play against a Mech, uh, what's a Noble Knights round one, so Cherry's Isolde was pretty good. Space Insulator is our new addition to the deck. This card right here is really cool, especially if you combo it with uh, Trisbana, although I do not play that card. So since we play two copies of Scapegoats, you kind of need another way to make Ningaritsu or something else without wasting a Phoenix, all right? So that's why Space Insulator is in here. And our standard Link Karibo, Link Spider, you have to play these cards, okay? You're playing Scapegoat. So uh, the package of Nightmares, all right? We got Cerberus, Phoenix, and Unicorn. You need to play these cards, guys. There's really no reason to not play these cards. They're so nutty. And to plus off of them after a scapegoat is ridiculous. To draw cards, get rid of problematic cards like monsters in the main monster zone or in the spell trap uh, back row and draw a card and then make a Bortal Sword or a Bortal Load right after. Wow. That's just, that's just insane, dude. All right, Holy Angel, the best, the best. Best trick star in the deck, Holy Angel. I can't wait till this is ultimate in the TCG. I would totally get one. This card steals games, man. Ningaritsu, uh, because we play the scapegoats, Ta, you know, Bomber Dragon, Mind Control, Suruja. That card is also really nice, uh, you know, because you can actually uh, cherries that against, you know, those uh, danger decks, FDK decks, if you stumble across your one, which I did face one and I barely won. Now, let's get into the Bortal Load and Bortal Sword, the twins. These are amazing. These cards are nutty. If I'm summoning one, you're probably not going to win. 99% chance victory once I summon one of these. Okay? In the tournament, I actually summoned Bortal Load and took a Beatrice, and I was just chilling with the Beatrice. It was pretty nice. It's in there for taking Colossus, and your opponent can't just, they can't play the game. So that's why it's in there, guys. Pretty nice, right? So that's that. Those are really cool cards. Just look at that. Look at that amazing stuff. Let's jump into the side deck. Triple cherries, because we have a great fear of Goki still to this date. 
Also, Sky Striker matchup. Basically, our side deck is mainly for going second. Okay, so Cherries is still a really good card. Some games I do side in Cherries going first. All right, then I have to play around what my hand is. Ghost Spell for Prank Kids. Thunder Dragons. Ghost Spell is really good, guys. I'm glad I maxed out on three. I did try out like one bell for a couple weeks. It didn't work out. Pinkatrops. This card is nuts. Max it out. Three of. Trust me. Hits those floodgates. Mind Control. Really good card against tough matchups. It breaks boards. Insane. Lastly, evenly match. Why is this a card? This card is ridiculous. Run it. Max it out. Okay? Three of. Side deck. This card steals games. Literally steals it. Wow. So make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel yet. Support this channel. I got third place out of a 400-man regional, pretty much. And only lost one game. Bortle, out.